Hello and welcome to Johnny Villa's review of Fighting Mega Mix for the Sega Saturn. Let's start by taking you through the history of the game. It was released in Japan in 1996 and later in 1997 for the US and Europe. This game was marketed by Sega as the first real 3D fighting game. Because Sega released a sidestep option to this game, it allowed you to dodge attacks and release your own counter attack against your opponent. What was unique and was never seen by any fighting game at this time. This game was an introduction to Virtual Fighter 3 but was sadly never released for the Sega Saturn. By doing this they added Virtual Fighter 3 moves to the game. And of course what really makes this game unique is Sega added two fighting styles from two different fighting games, Virtual Fighter and Fighting Vipers. Let's take you through the gameplay of Fighting Mega Mix. There's a number of ways you can play this game. There's a survivor mode, a training mode, a two player mode and a two player battle mode and also a one player mode. What makes this one player mode unique, instead of the standard arcade mode where you're selected by random who you fight, on this one you get to pick from 9 different lineups of fighters, such as all girls, all men, virtual fighter or fighting vipers. Each liner contains the 6 fighters, at the final fight you'll release a hidden character, once you beat the hidden character, the hidden character becomes unlocked and is ready for selection. There are a range of hidden characters on this game, what vary from different Sega games. Such as a Hornet car from Daytona USA, two fighters from Virtual Fighter Kids, and two fighters from Sega's arcade hit Sonic Fighters. There's also Janet from Virtual Cop 2, who has a move list from a Virtual Fighter 3 character, what makes her one of the best playable characters on the game. Let's take you through some of the differences of this game to its predecessor games. Let's start with the Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter 2 ran at a much faster pace in this game and also had better graphics. One of the most notable differences in this game compared to Virtual Fighter 2 is there's no ring out when you're fighting on the Virtual Fighter stages. Another major difference on this game compared to Virtual Fighter series is on the Virtual Fighter series you only get to use 3 buttons on your save the sound pad. On this one you get to use all 6 so it makes it easier to get the moves out. There isn't really any difference on this game to Fighting Vipers. Fighting Vipers are still playing the same cage fights and you still get to knock your opponent through the cage at the end of the fight. Another cool thing about this game is you don't have to put codes in to unlock the bosses. You can just unlock them by playing the one player mode. Also one of the key options in this game is you get to select from two different fighting modes. You can have a fight in the virtual fighter mode or the fighting viper mode. It's your choice. Overall, this is a very enjoyable fighting game that runs at a very nice pace. If you're a fan of any of the series, Virtual Fire or Fighting Vipers, this is a must have for any Sega Saturn anime. Thank you for watching Johnny Villa's review of Fighting Mega Mix for the Sega Saturn. Please comment and please subscribe.